Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a brand new vlog and welcome to my birthday. Yeah, I'm gonna do what I like. It's my birthday. I'm in such a fabulous mood this morning. We've had dances, we've had sing-alongs, we've had so many cuddles with the dog. Alex made me coffee and shake in bed. Mm. And Alex is now taking me to the station. I am about to have a day. I was thinking about it earlier. This day could be seen as a bit of a, um, a cry for help day due to aging. But actually, I am just on my way into London to get lots of treatments done because this is the best day for me to do it. Not because I don't think I'm aging gracefully, but more because I just need some nice little treatments done today and that's how I wanted to spend my birthday. So, ahead of us, we have, what am I going first? I'm getting my Profilo topped up. So if you were here a few weeks ago, I went and got Profilo done. I'm thrilled to bits with it so far. I feel like my skin looks so glowy and hydrated these days. So I'm excited to get a bit more Profilo. You're meant to go like six to eight weeks after you went the first time to get it topped up and then it's meant to stay like a year. So I don't want to miss the boat. I probably have just missed it by a week or so, but this is the only time I could do. So I'm going to get some injections in my face. So I'm going to Latelier Aesthetics for that. Then I'm going to see Deb at Nouveau Lashes for my eyelashes done. Then I'm going to see HD Brows for my brows. Then I'm going to go see Amy Fish at Larry King and get my hair done. Yes! I haven't had it done since the first time that I went darker. So I'm excited to go a bit more rich and more caramel again. Because obviously over, over the last three months, this has got a little, not dull, I don't think it's dull, but it just needs like richening up again, if that's even a word. And then finally, I'm going to go to dry by and get a shellac pedicure done because I always go and see my Alex at the hot blend for my nails and I went like last week so they're perfect already but I always go to dry by for my shellac pedicure because I can sit and I can work and just chill that's the order of the day 10 till 7 worth of treatments and then I'm going to come home and Alex is going to make me some faux okay so I'm at the atelier I'm ready for treatment I'm number one Okay, step one, we've just put on some numbing cream on the areas that are required. I don't want to take all my makeup off, so I thought we would just do in the areas that I really, really need. Ooh, this one's step big. One yeah. This one's big. Ooh, nice. Okay, so I'm all um, injected up. I've had five this side, five this side. You see, you do one here, one here, one here, one here, and then it's a one there no as one well. Here. Yeah. yeah. But me and Emma were just saying how like glowy and healthy my skin has looked since getting all of this done. So I'm excited about this. So this should last me like a year now, do you think? Yeah. About a year. Nine months to a year, most people come in for the next one. Really? Yeah. For super yeah. glowy skin. And it's quick, isn't it? And it's so quick. Yeah. I mean, that's taken five minutes. Yeah. So yay. Treatment one, done. Okay, treatment number two is at Dr. Nyla. So this is where... Right, so this is where I'm going to get my Nouveau Lashes Lash Lift and also my HD Brows Brow, probably not laminated, but I might get them, I'm going to get them dyed. Um, my face doesn't look too bad, actually. You can just see like little balls of it. But it all just feels really numb, it just feels really weird touching my, like moving my face. Right, Deb has finished and worked her magic on my lashes. I'm back to normal. Honestly, I feel so, I always feel so good every time I see Deb and I get my Nouveau lashes done and they're up again and they just look so, honestly, it makes the biggest difference to my face. My Profilo is slightly bruising here and it's kind of giving me like a tingle. I need to now go to get my hair done. So I don't have very long to get over there, but I'm gonna have to top up all my makeup in the car. I don't know why I bothered putting makeup on this morning. <laughs> After all that Profilo and all the numbing stuff, I feel like part of this is all numb. I feel like I've still got numb and She's cream. She's still beautiful, guys, isn't she? Oh, <laughs> what she likes. She's too good to be. So Mary just brought me some flowers. My birthday. How sweet is that? I just surprised her some flowers. And we are kind of halfway through. Amy has done some sort of highlights through the front to brighten the front again. And then she's done this. I mean, it looks so good. But she's put this like one of the red Kennedy cute glosses over the entirety of the ground, kind of like making it like super rich again. So it's looking fabulous. Oh, 
my goodness gracious me. I am so tired. Like so tired right now, I can't explain. Getting beautified, it's hard work. Oh. <laughs> my boys. I have all of my birthday gifts here. Should I quickly show everyone my birthday gifts super quick? I thought you were talking about me and Bo then. <laughs> my birthday gifts, Alex and Bo. First birthday gift, a little treat from Louis Vuitton, which is this beautiful bouquet of white roses, which are one of my absolute favorites. What a treat. So the Louis Vuitton team sent me the roses. Very much unexpected, I had no idea. So that was wonderful to come home to yesterday. Then they also sent me their brand new fragrance, Pacific Chill, which to me sounds super like aquatic and like a holiday in a bottle. But actually when I read up on the notes, it's like, where did it say it? Black currant. Black currant. That's all I remember. Black currant. I can't think. I can't. Oh, herbs. Black currant herbs. Something else. But to me, it's a, it smells really like aquatic and literally like the Pacific coastline. That was just another amazing little gift that was unexpected from my from my mama. Mum bought me a new Dior hand soap because she knows how much I love these and they're kind of like one of those things that you buy yourself as like an extra extra gift like it's a bit extra and wonderful but something that you wouldn't buy constantly and so that's what makes a good birthday gift something that's like a real treat so she got me the Oud Ispaham hand soap to top up the bathroom when we finish the current one so thank you mum then the Armani team sent me two not one but two bottles of my favorite rouge malachite perfume because i just ran out and as you know it is like my number one fragrance of all time so the armani team sent me two which is unreal then rebecca sent me an amazing gift she sent me these boxes of like s'mores making kits this one is a dipping gift set. I'm not looking inside this one yet. I think it's got lots of different dips to dip your marshmallows in. What does it say? So you make them caramel dipping sauces and then marshmallow packs. So great. And then this one, so there's two sets, Naked Marshmallow Company. This one is the s'mores gift set and it even comes with like a little fire device. So if you don't have a fire pit or a fire, it comes with a little device that creates a flame and then you can create your own s'mores. And it comes with like little graham crackers and, and the marshmallows and the chocolate and little sticks to hold your marshmallows. So it's like a whole thing. And I, I genuinely love it. Like. I'm having some friends over this weekend, so we're definitely going to use these on the barbecue. And having s'mores on our fire pit is one of my favourite things to do when friends come over. So these will get eaten, like, immediately. So it's just a really fantastic gift. Like, she knows me very, very, very well. Um, another gorgeous gift as well from my sister-in-law, who bought me the new Christian Dior, The Balm, which is for hands, lips and body. But look how cool this is. The shape of this this little football shaped dome and then it opens like this and it's a really lovely like thick thick balm like you can tell it's going to be really nourishing what a lovely gift again super unexpected so it's just wonderful and then if you haven't watched the previous video you may have missed you may have missed alex bought me this beautiful this dior rose devant earring which is just absolutely beautiful so yes yeah, so those are all of my those are all of my other birthday gifts i feel very very grateful i just got armani dior louis vuitton and marshmallows that summarizes my life i love it i love it plus the roses um so what an absolute treat it has been an amazing day. As I showed you everything, I am thrilled to bits of my hair. It looks rich and full, beautiful again, with a little bit more bronzed through. I wanted, I wanted even more of this beautiful brown, so that's pulled through. Amy has done a magnificent job as ever. Oh gosh. But now it's it's literally quarter past nine and me and Alex are both like, oh, let's go to bed. After such a long and glorious day, I don't even know why I'm so tired. I think so obviously I started at like 10 and I've obviously had like injections in the face for one. One of which you can still see. I've got like a, I've got like a ball here of the hyaluronic fluid. Um, so obviously that's probably taken out of me 
as well. And then obviously like every appointment that I went to, I was catching up with everyone because I'm, you know, I'm good friends with everyone that I go to see. So it's like, it's constant socialising. So it's been a real day of socialising. So I'm quite zapped now. But I've come home. Alex has made me an incredible broth, a noodle broth, which is what I, I wanted. That's what I asked for. That was delicious. And now all three of us i mean even the dog even the dog there is knackered <laughs> all three of us are gonna get into bed i'm gonna do all my skincare take off my makeup do all my skincare and we're gonna all cuddle in bed and then stick on the sky glass and we're gonna watch a new film so this is a paid for advertorial with sky cinema every month i like to review the latest films there are two that have just come out and i had to choose between the two and it was a tough choice this time one is Babylon. It's like a 1920s Hollywood glamour film. Or, second choice, Black Adam with The Rock. And I am such a huge Dwayne Johnson fan. I've been a fan of Dwayne Johnson since he was in, in the wrestling as The Rock. I was one of those kids who had an older brother who was obsessed with wrestling, and so I was obsessed with wrestling. And so The Rock was like my heart throbbed back when I was like seven. And I just think he's amazing. Like if you ask me, like The Rock for president, honestly, because what a great guy. He's just the nicest, kindest, sweetest, loveliest guy. And I think he's just, I think he makes some really fun, great action movies. I mean, come on, Moana. You're welcome. Let's talk about Moana. <laughs> great action movie, Moana. I mean, yeah, I think he's amazing. But I realised actually the other day that Alex has already seen Black Adam. Didn't you watch it on a film? On a plane, on a film. Watch it on a plane. Yes. He watched it on a plane. So instead, because we want to both watch something brand new, we're going to watch Babylon. And this is a Brad Pitt film. So it's going to be great. Quick one from me. I'm coming from the future because I forgot to tell you. Also on Sky Cinema right now, they have the whole pop-up of Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 all on here for like the next month. And then one final film I forgot to tell you about. If you are someone who likes Step Up, Step Up 2, Honey, those kind of like dance films. There's a brand new film on Sky Cinema. It's an original, it's called Breaking Point. It's about two adopted brothers. They're kind of like rival dancers. They've also kind of had like a falling out in their lives and they're now like rivals that are going for the world break dancing competition. So if you're into dance films, you probably really enjoy that too. Let's have a nice little movie night in and then tomorrow I can tell you all about the film. Hello everybody. How you doing? I'm just gonna put on a very, very simple few bits, tiny, tiny few bits of makeup because today we have our office going in. <laughs> so exciting. So the office is being put in right now. So far, it looks amazing. And I'll be able to show you that later. Yeah, so excited, so much happening right now. Like the apartment, and now I'm getting the, the office sorted that I've been dreaming about for so long. It's just really, really exciting. That's the road uh, peptides, peptide glazing fluid, by the way. Big fan of this. It's almost just like an extra layer that I like to put on over the top of everything else just to kind of rehydrate everything and create like a lovely like almost sticky base for everything else. So I am going to use something, I just want something quite lightweight on my under eyes. I'm gonna use the new sticks. I wanna tell you how much I enjoyed Babylon. I'm really quite excited by it. It was a really fantastic film. And the main reason is how many of you guys have watched Singing in the Rain, the film? Let me tell you a brief history of me. I used to dance when I was younger. I was, I think I started dancing around six or seven and I carried on until I was about 16. So I did about 10, 10 plus years of dancing. My biggest regret in life is giving up ballet. But I, I mean, I gave it up though around my age 16 because it was the time when I got my first boyfriend. It was difficult. My mum and dad had separated and so it was a lot to ask my dad to constantly come and pick me up to take me to ballet classes and I just felt guilty about that. Kind of fell out of love of going to it. And so I sort of said to my dad like, thank you, but I'm gonna give it up. And so I did, and it's always been my big, like, biggest regret in life. Like, without like beating my own drum here, I feel like, sorry if you can hear drills. 
I genuinely feel like I was actually really quite good at ballet. Um, I did tap, I was very good at tap. I've got good rhythm. I studied music, I played instruments from being really young. One of the very lucky people who have had parents who have encouraged their children to partake in activities that they're passionate about, even though they didn't necessarily have all the money to put into the child doing those activities. Like, don't get me wrong, we weren't like super poor as a family, but we weren't super well off. And I know how much it would cost to have keyboard lessons, flute lessons. I also played the recorder, plus ballet lessons a couple of times a week. And I know that that added up. And it was only when I kind of got, you know, through like mid, like early to mid teens. When you start to understand the value of money as a, a young teen, that's when I was like, oh wow, like, can my parents actually afford this? You know, and I, I'm forever grateful for my mum and dad. I had a very loving family, is what I'm trying to say. But they very kindly put me through ballet, tap, point lessons. The main reason being that my mum, sorry, this is a long way to tell you about this. My mum introduced me to the film Singing in the Rain when I was um, young, probably three, four. I would watch it over and over and over again. I was obsessed with Gene Kelly. I was just obsessed with the soundtrack. It was, and it's still one of my favorite films ever. It's just such a beautiful musical. It's, it's unreal. It's one of the best musicals ever, ever, ever of all time. If you've never seen Sing the Rain, then you absolutely need to. And that film is what very much inspired me to dance. Like, seeing Gene Kelly and his dancing scenes and Sing in the Rain, I was, I just fell in love with dance. Like, he also did a film called Brigadoon that I watched over and over and over. You know, like, Sing in the Rain was one of those, like, family classics for us. Like, the whole family would just watch it around at my, my nan and granddad's house. I must have seen that film hundreds and hundreds of times. So watching... Babylon. Throughout it, like, bear in mind, I'd, I purposely, whenever I watch films, I don't like to read up about the film before I watch it. I don't even like to watch trailers. I just like to get into there and then just, and see what I think about it without any thought process or any potential judgments in, initially. There were numerous times throughout it where I was like, at first it was like, this reminds me of something. And then, then a couple of scenes later, it was like, I realized, I was like, this reminds me of Singing in the Rain. Like there was a, there was a chaoticness to some of the scenes. And then there's one particular scene where Brad Pitt, he's kind of kissing this woman and saying, I love you, I love you, I love you. And in the cinema, lots of people are like laughing. And I was like, wait a minute, that is literally the scene from Singing in the Rain where Gene Kelly is kissing Lena Lamont's arm and saying, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. And then in the cinema, everyone is laughing because they're like, what is this? Like cringiness. And it li they literally redo that scene in the film and I was like, wait a minute, have they just completely ripped off that scene? And then the more I thought about it, like, I realised that actually the whole film is a bit of a Singing in the Rain tribute film. And then it was only towards the end, at the end of the film, there's this like really lovely bit where one of the actors goes into a movie theatre and watches Singing in the Rain and then it all kind of comes together and it's, that's when you kind of put everything together and realise it's like this big tribute. What I'm trying to say is, when I kind of realised that, I loved the film even more. Oh, sorry, by the way, that was just the Lumine watercolour bronzer. And then I started reading into it and realised the director is an enormous Singing in the Rain fan. He's, he's the same director that directed La La Land. So if you enjoyed La La Land, you'll love this. He's an enormous Singing in the Rain fan. So now it all makes complete and utter sense. Like it's literally this tribute. As soon as I realized at the end, it all came together. Like Margot Robbie plays this actress that has a Jersey accent and she doesn't fit this usual kind of Hollywood character. And again, there's a scene where she's pretending to be like prim and proper and then they kind of break her, these like super rich, wealthy people. And she's just, she freaks out. And anyway, Again, it reminded me of Lena Lamont in Sing in the Rain. And I can't stand you. And I can't stand him. If any of you guys haven't seen it, sorry, but you need to go watch it, quite frankly. It's a, it's a classic film. Margot Robbie is almost like the, the same character again. And it, all, it all came together. It all came together. And then I realized what had been going on and what I'd been watching. And, it, and for some reason, because I'm such a massive Sing in the Rain fan, it, it made me love the film 
even more. By the way, sorry, I've just been using the Luminae Liquid Blush there, and then I've just used the highlighter. Um, you guys probably know by now, these have been a favourite of mine for maybe five, four, four, five years. And Luminae recently sent me a whole new batch of them, and it's kind of rekindled my my absolute love for them. But I think they've also got a couple of new shades in here as well. Oh, they do. I'm going to put a bit of this on. This is bright bloom. This is pretty. This is really pretty. Yeah, fantastic film. It's very chaotic. It also slightly reminds me of Gatsby and it also reminds me a little bit of um, Wolf of Wall Street in some ways because of the chaoticness of a lot of the scenes. But actually it just adds to the whole drama and the excitement of that kind of era of Hollywood, I think. Also, is it me or have about five different brands just launched balms in this particular piece of packaging? It's really odd. I've just, I've just si noticed it recently. Makeup by Mario. Kylie. It's the exact same packaging. It's the exact same packaging. And there's another brand as well. Another brand has just launched the exact same thing too. It, you don't see it happen very often that brands accidentally choose the exact same packaging at the exact same time, but that has happened. Oh, one last thing I want to try while I'm here with you. Ooh, 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 ooh. New Vive bronzers. Modern Radiance Cream Bronzers and they did send me this gorgeous um, brush with it too and I've not tried it yet. And I know I just put bronzer on, but sod it. I'm gonna put more on because I wanna see what it's like. Put a little bit through here. It is creamy, super creamy. I just thought I'd put on a little bit of makeup seeing as I've literally got, I've got our amazing gardener here. I've got the guys fitting the office. I thought I needed to make a little tiny bit of effort here today. There we go, I love that. That is beautifully creamy. Gorgeous consistency, lovely packaging. I love the ribbed effect of this. Well done, Jamie, as ever. I'm just gonna put on a tiny bit of liner. Mario, makeup by Mario liner in hue. This is a new lip oil in Rosewood. So I'm just literally trying everything here. Pretty, oh, that's so nice. Hmm, let's look a little bit more alive now. Yeah, so. So a little more awake for the day. Okay, to be honest today I don't have much more to show you because I'm just gonna literally have a day at home working. And then tomorrow we are going to Holland Cooper to shoot my next collection. So like the hood is, I'll probably skip today and we can go straight to tomorrow. Good morning everybody. Oh, I always feel so much better after applied. Brand new tan. Today is the Holland Cooper Autumn Winter 23 collection shoot. So I'm going over again to Cheltenham to their incredible photo shoot location there. It's inside this old barn. It's unreal. Heading over there with Alex and Bo and we're gonna have a photo shoot day shooting the latest collection, which is gonna be launching later on in the year. We're shooting it now because the guys are very far in advance. They're very much on it. So yeah, we're shooting that today. It's a stunning, beautiful day. And yeah, to be honest, I do love a good drive through the sunshine. So yeah, I'm gonna head over in the big car over to Cheltenham. What I also love about going to Cheltenham is the Dalesford farm shop. So it means we can get loads of lovely things for dinner and also for tomorrow, because tomorrow, not tomorrow, sorry, the day after tomorrow is my birthday party at the house. So it just means we can pick up a few lovely things like olives, wine, cheeses, etc., for the party. So it'll be really, really nice. It's just a good excuse because I don't live anywhere near to any other Dalesford. So yeah, I can't wait. I'm really excited about today. Um, I'm wearing a very low key, very chilled outfit. I just started off the day with these jeans. I just threw these jeans on because I just want something comfortable and I don't really want to take them off. They're such a great like slouchy relaxed pair of jeans. They're super cool. I'm just going to wear these with my Manolo Birkenstocks with the see-through tops of them. And then just a really lovely slouchy white Holland Cooper tee. These are just such beautiful quality. They just hang really nicely. So it's very low key. Of course I've got my new hair. I'm, oh, I'm, just, I'm just in love with it guys. I absolutely love being more of a brunette these days. I love the colour. Amy, you can really see it here on the camera. It's dark, darker through my pupils. But it's this gorgeous like chunk of blonde that just cuts through. And then this, the way this is just so much darker further down now. It's gradiated down. Stunning. And the hair that Jake did with the Dyson Corral, still in, still looks mega, doesn't look dry. Love it. I've got a slight bruise here from the profilo and one slightly here. But nothing too bad, seeing as I had injections, you can't see any on this side. I do, however, look like I've got a really great jawline here. 
we, that'll dissipate over the next few days as all of the hyaluronic starts to shift into the rest of my skin and then it'll just look juicier, healthier, smoother, softer. Um, and I'll give you a bit of a review as well of the Profilo because it's not the most comfortable of treatments, especially if you don't like injections. I hate injections, hate them. But for some reason I don't mind them as much in my face, weirdly. I'd much rather have an injection in my face than my arm. I don't know, I'm a bit squeamish about my arms, I think. It's not as bad as you think in terms of the injection. The pain comes from the filling of the fluid into the face because it almost fills up into this like little bee sting. That's what hurts. It's almost like having a spot. Wouldn't you know those pimples that really hurt on your face? Imagine the pain of that times like a hundred as it happens all at once. It's that kind of pain. So it's a little bit painful, but it takes 10 minutes and then it's done. I've so far, I must admit that I've seen such a difference in terms of like the smoothness of my skin since having it and it just feels a little more glowy. So yeah, after having the second top up of it, I should now not have to go back for another year, fingers crossed. But I'll give you a bit of a review in a couple of weeks and see what I think about it and if it's actually worth it because it's a lot to go through for your skin. So we'll see. I am going to be your guinea pig guys. Let's go shoot. Made it. Someone's excited. Right, exciting, beautiful weather. This place. That is a wrap on the shoot. It has gone, it's gone so well. I just love my pieces for this new collection and the way that they work so perfectly with my previous collection. So the shirt, the cashmere blend, the v-neck jumper and the shorts. Everything just kind of all pairs together so you can almost keep adding to your wardrobe with your pieces that you bought from the previous collection. So I'm just absolutely over the moon. I've just loved my hair and makeup. So I'm just thrilled to bits. The pictures look amazing, the videos look great. I'm just, yeah, so happy. We're home. I thought I'd do a little check-in with you because I feel like it's hard to summarise such an amazing day in such a quick little roundup. First of all, as well, we also put live today the renovation video of the new apartment in Manchester and I have been so excited about posting that. We really put our all into making that video. I wanted to make something that was a bit more like episodic. We'd spent a lot more time on it, which we had multiple cameras and just that trying to get that much more of like a tv vibe i suppose so we really 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 worked hard on that so if you've not watched that you might want to go and have a look at that it's it's just a really cool like interiors video where we we decorate the whole flat from start to finish with loads of clips in there of it being painted and the tiles going in and then like the sofa going in and everything else and i'm just thrilled to bits with it so I hope you like that. So that went up just now. Well, a couple of hours ago now. Yeah, we finished up the shoot at seven. I managed to get quite a lot of different outfits in in that time. So we shot... Oh, I can't, I can't tell you, I just realised. So we shot the key... There's like a key look for the autumn winter campaign. A really key, unbelievable look. The quality is exceptional. The colour and fabric is really divine like I just don't think you'll find anything else on the market for the season that is of that quality and that style and that fabric at the Holland Cooper price point like you may find it from a super 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 luxury top end brand but I just think if you want a premium piece in this sort of quality made in England then this is this is it <laughs> and i'm just so proud of it i'm so i'm just so proud of it but then we also reshot a number of my pieces from the current collection which we've kind of continued because they sold so well for us my cashmere blends and the v-neck we are continuing with for autumn because they've just done so so well so we'll have more of them coming so i reshot with those and the v-necks it's just all coming together so beautifully. I feel so proud. It was also amazing today to see Jade. I haven't seen Jade in a really, really long time. I just love her. I think she's just one of the most inspiring women. And I just love hearing everything that she's up to and what she's been up to. And yeah, I just love being around inspiring women. It really motivates me for the future. And I just think she's just amazing. She's the most beautiful lady ever. So it was wonderful to see her and catch up. But the whole team, like, just as we walk in, everyone's like, oh, hi. You know, it's almost like, it's just like being with family again. And that's how I feel with Holm Cooper. They're just a real family to me and Alex and Bo. They'd got Bo a, a bow tie that matched my 
outfit. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it was fantastic, amazing day. We just got home. Jade very kindly opened up the store at Dunkerton's near her head office so we could get some Dalesford curries <laughs> to take home with us because we were really excited about curries and then it shut before we finished the shoot. So yeah, we've just had a curry and now we're gonna go and get in bed. <sighs> Ready for tomorrow. I've got a lot to do tomorrow. I have my party on Saturday. I've just, I've kind of planned an impromptu little friends party. So I have um, some friends over. But yeah, we just need to tidy the house, get loads of food in, get loads of booze in and get ready for it. So I guess I will see you tomorrow. Sorry, sorry, I, just before I go to bed, I was about to walk upstairs and then remembered at the shoot, Jade gave me a birthday present. I just saw the box and I thought, oh, I'll quickly have a look what, I, um, what Jade got me for my birthday. Look at this. Look at this blazer. Oh my goodness me. It is amazing. It's a pink, it's a bright pink linen fuchsia. So cool with this vibe. I'll leave a link down below because they're so cool. I put them on my stories earlier and I've had so many messages from people saying, where are these from? Because they're super like relaxed and quite 90s with the way that the cut is and they've got this almost like cargo pockets. They're really, they're really different for me. I love them. And this is a white Holland Cooper tee. In fact, I'll show you earlier. I might have done. Anyway, this blazer is amazing over top. What size is this? This is the eight, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I always go one size bigger in Jay's blazers because they just make them a little bit more of a size. This is amazing. I'm absolutely over the moon with this. I know that I'm not as much into colour these days, but primarily I, I'm more just not into pattern, as much pattern. And so anything that's colour blocking that I can wear and pair it with things like jeans, t-shirt, something a bit more chilled, I'm really into. And I know there are times I'm going to need something that's a bit more bold. So I love it. What a gorgeous, gorgeous present. Love it. <laughs>